What's up everyone? This is Seth with PageMaker and today I am diving deep into our native forms. Our forms are plug and play, simple to use, and totally customizable. We've given you the editing options to increase conversion rates in form, in form fills through better messaging and aesthetics. Now, just like any other element on PageMaker, editing your form is super, super easy. If you wanted to change the text, just like you use on PageMaker, click on the text and change it to whatever you want. If you want to change the color of a button, just click on the button and just like everything else on PageMaker, you'll be able to change the aesthetics, the text as you would anything else. Now diving deeper into the form, you could change the actions and the messaging. So if I click on the form, you'll notice on the right hand side, settings populate. From here, I'm able to even name the form. If you have multiple campaigns or multiple forms on one landing page, you're able to now create a unique identifier that tells you which form this is exactly. So for my example, I've used the lead hero because this form is in the uh, hero section of my lead generation landing page. Underneath is where you select the form actions. So on PageMaker, we give you the ability to show a custom message whenever a form is successfully filled or if there is an error. So you could change the message here. So once someone fills out the form, you might want to say, please call us for early access and then put in your phone number underneath. And we see a lot of realtors that are using PageMaker that are doing this. Once the lead fills out the form, you could put a custom message. And the cool thing about this is we even have the click the call link on the, on the phone number. So that on mobile or on desktop, after users fill out the form, they're even able to call. And the same feature even works for the air. If someone doesn't fill out the form properly, you can write any type of message you'd like. Now, underneath that is the on success message. This is telling PageMaker, what do you want to do after the user fills out the form? On this setting, it's telling PageMaker, just show the success message. So after the user fills out the form, the next thing he's going to see, they're, they're going to see is this success message. Another option is you can ask for PageMaker to redirect your user to another URL. So once they've filled out the form, they could also be redirected to another URL. It could be a website, it could be a booking page, whatever URL you want, you just simply put it in here and they, they will be redirected. Then we get to the integration. Let me just change the setting back. So if you've used PageMaker, you know how your integrations work. This is telling PageMaker what, uh, where to connect the leads to. So once someone fills out the form, their data is going to be going into that integration. So for here, I have a MailChimp test and I'm basically saying to PageMaker that when my user fills out this form, I want their information to go into that native integration we have with PageMaker. How do you add fields? It's, it's very straightforward. Over here, you'll be able to see your fields and you can add new ones just by clicking that add new button. So if I wanted to add, for example, a dropdown that asks, are you an agent? Very simply, I can add that dropdown. Now, a little tip, if you're using PageMaker forms and you're trying to stay above the fold and real estate is precious, a tip that I recommend doing is hiding the labels. So if you click on your form and then you highlight the form label, you'll be able to hide them. And then if you go back able to put in your placeholders. Now, I'm going to show you how PageMaker stores your leads. So I'll be using a live example. And for this demo, I'm going to just be using some dummy information. I'm going to fill out the form. I'm going to click on the button. And the first thing you'll notice is that custom success message that we created together and that click to call on the phone number. Where does that lead data go? Let me show you. Head over to your page maker and locate the landing page. For this one, I called it form submission. So I'm going to click on it. 
Then on the left hand side, you'll see your forms. Click on your forms. And you'll notice when I was showing you earlier in the video that I called this form Lead Hero, it shows. So all you have to do is click on Lead Hero and you'll be able to see your data there. And you could export the data. And if you have integration, then that data will also be uh, sent to whichever CRM or email client that you are using. If you have any questions about how to use the forms or if you have any suggestions, please email us right in our Facebook group and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and I will be back shortly with another one. All the best.